I believe we are created for greatness, not mediocrity. That we are to live our lives accordingly, striving to be agents of change as we attempt to leave this world a better place than we found. Hey guys, welcome to 2015. It is Manny, the man Lopez here with a brand new PLS Tips with Manny. Uh, I want to welcome you guys to the new year. Uh, I know you guys probably got a lot of things on your mind, a lot of opportunities in front of you, and really just trying to figure out some unique strategies on finding new clients. Now, I help you guys each week, every Wednesday, uh, 9 Eastern Time. Uh, I'll give you guys a new PLS Tips with Manny. It's really going to help you guys focus on understanding the value of using social media, mobile marketing, and video marketing in your business. I do also talk about a lot of face-to-face -face stuff as well, uh, but mainly it's focused on online stuff. Now, today's episode is a little bit unique. Today, I'm going to show you how to crack the personality code. Okay, now there is four major personality types out there. I'm going to go over them in just a few minutes here. Uh, but it's, what this training is going to allow you to do is really understand who you have in front of you when you're doing presentations or talking about your business or what have you and be able to determine what type of presentations to show them. Because here's the thing, okay, let's say you go into a sales job. If you guys have had a sales position, you guys typically know how this works. You go to a new sales job. They go into the training and they give you this thing called a pitch book or script or something like that. And what that script does is usually have one way to do a presentation, one way to say it, one way to close it, one thing to say. You know, you have one set way to say it. Now, for 25% of the people that you hire, that script could work, you know, because it's going to fit to that person's personality type. Whoever wrote that script is typically going to have whatever their clients in mind or their own personality type in mind, that's going to determine whether or not um, they make it more of a type A personality, make it more analytical, more nurturing, uh, more step-by-step. -step. What if you guys see how blurry this thing keeps going in and out? I don't know why it keeps autofocusing, uh, auto but uh, I think it's kind of funny. Either way, so let's get right into it, guys. I want to give you guys some, uh, some content today. Quickly, you guys can start utilizing immediately, all right? So here's what I did. Okay, what I've done is because um, I own my own branding agency, and you know we actually just are live from this office today. Uh, let me show you a little bit of tour here. My little private office. It's got a really nice view. Let me show you this. We've got a nice little view of the mountains. Uh, we can get a little bit farther with this thing. I could get all the way out there. So we've got a nice view out there. Then we've got uh, to this side here, if you can see all the way farther, all the way out there. That is LA, uh, Los Angeles. I'm actually in Orange County right now. Um, we've got a pretty nice little sales office we secured right at the end of the year. And uh, now we're going to be doing our presentations from here and uh, a lot of stuff from here. So we'll be growing my uh, brand very big this year. You're going to be seeing this a lot. So anyway, um, all right, so here's what I've done. So I've got a presentation I have for my team. So anybody that we talk to about our services, let's say Power Lead System, okay? Uh, we've got a script that I put together that literally outlines exactly what to say when you first talk to a prospect. But then you notice at the end here, there's this color-coded question. It says, what's more important to you? And for me, I give four different answers because there's four major personality types, okay? There's a type A personality, which is the color code of red for me is what I put on here. Uh, so color-coded red is a type A personality. This is, if I look at my notes here, we want to be cool and dress to impress. We want to display excitement and enthusiasm. Okay, this is kind of tips when you're talking to a type A personality. Okay, uh, you want to skip the small talk, get straight to the bottom line, have a sense of urgency, sell a sizzle lifestyle, the dream. You know, don't overload it with details and charts and information and introduced to other type A personalities. So type A personality, this is the type of person who's a big dreamer. This is the one that is a go-getter. Usually uh, they own their own business, they're entrepreneurial. Um, these are the ones that you can sell them on the idea of growing themselves into a really big name brand or something like that. Um, that's a type A personality. So those are some tips that you would do when you're talking to that type of person, okay? The next one you have, uh, I have is yellow. This is a nurturing type. So the nurturing type of personality, this is the type that is more inclined to uh, to go on gut feelings. Um, 
I always think that is really weird. Just randomly throughout, throughout the day, my printer just starts acting funky. Anyway, um, so yeah, so the nurturing type, here's some tips on how to sell to a nurturing type. First, you want to be authentic. You want to be genuine. Again, they're focused on feelings, how, they're, how they interact with you, how they feel with you, if they like you or not. It's, it's how they're going to do business. It doesn't matter how great your product is. It doesn't matter how great your service is. If they don't like you, they're not going to do business with you. That simple. Okay. Uh, the next thing you want to do is just show them that you care about them more than the money. Okay. They don't want people just focus on making sales and stuff like that. They want to help people. They want to get relationship building. Okay. Uh, introduce them to your team and get them connected with others in the group. Talk about the cause that you're passionate about and how they can make a difference. Give big hugs. Maintain eye contact. One of the ways that you can tell when you have a nurturing person in front of you is if you go and you do a presentation with them, you meet them, and the first thing you want to do is they want to give you a big hug. Okay? They're not the shake hands. They are the huggers. All right? So keep in mind, when you have that type of person, maybe someone that's in the health and wellness industry, really focused on a healthy lifestyle, uh, maybe in a pet and well, uh, pet industry, uh, cares a lot about pets, has a lot of animals. Nurturing type is really focused on building relationships. Okay, so when you're working with those types of people, focus on those tips there. The next one you have is the analytical type. Now, for the longest time, I thought I was an analytical person, uh, and I found out that I'm actually more of a type A personality first, and then analytical second. One of the cool things is I've got this little platform that I'm using that allows me to determine within 90 seconds the exact type of personality that we have. And that's basically you, you take all of the benefits of, or the values for each you know, personality type, and then we have a little game where they just move around the, uh, the tiles, the colors, to what's more important to them, what's more valuable to them. And then it's going to tell you exactly the type of person they are, type A, you know, blueprint, if they're a nurturing type, if they're an you know, analytical type, and you can instantly tell. But what I've done is I just put typically some questions that will have them respond either, you know, do they want to build more of a, a presence for their vision? Do they want to get more step-by-step -step instructions? Do they want um, to build relationships and value? I mean, there's certain ways that you can just ask questions and kind of understand who they are as a person to really dictate what type of um, what kind of type of personality they are. So analytical. When you got somebody that's an analytical type, this is a person who's a numbers person. All they want to do is see stats. They want to see response, ROI. They want to see statistics. All that kind of stuff, you have an analytical type of person. Okay. Uh, this one is you want to be smart. You want to know your information. Okay. These are not the type that you go, hey, you know, I don't know, and I'll figure it out for you. No, you have to know your numbers. Otherwise, they're going to find somebody who will. All right. Next thing is you have resources and documentation that can provide them to study. Stay logical in your approach. Don't get overly emotional or excited. Be able to debate and defend your product, service, or business, or bring someone with you that is more of an expert. Allow them to uh, do their own research and give them time to think about it. When you're working with an analytical type, understand at the end of that conversation, more than likely it's going to end with, I need some time to think about it. Let me review the information. I will get back to you. They want to make educated decisions. They don't jump into things, all right? So understand, if you have an analytical type of person, they are probably going to be waiting on making a decision. So s expect a follow-up. Expect for them to review information. When you have that sense of mentality, you're not going to be pushy on them and you know they're analytical, you're going to see that, hey, okay, this is an analytical person. They want to see numbers. They want to see stats. All right, they're going to want to review this. Give them a day. Give them two days, and then we can get that done. Um, so that's one thing. Don't be pushy. Don't sell the dream to someone who's looking at for numbers. All right. Uh, that's one big tip I can give you. And the last one is blue. This is going to be the organized professional. This is the guy who gives you that firm handshake, very sharp dressed, always on time, step by step. You would kind of see these people in more of a, a police and military type of background. Uh, very step by step. Here's some tips on how to sell a person who's an organized professional. Uh, you want to be professional, organized, and on time. Have a step by step plan that you can give them. Don't be too pushy or exaggerate. Have your facts straight and resources in place so you can show them proof to back your claim. Show them the system for success and minimize the risk to get involved. Uh, then you want to stay within budget with them. They're, they're not the type to go over budget. They're very step-by-step. -step. If they have a set 
budget they're going to put out each month, that's what they're spending. They're not a dollar over. They will wait till the next month or sacrifice their business to stay within their means. Okay, So understand that when you're dealing with someone who is a, a organized professional type of personality, you want to make sure you stick to these types of features and these guidelines for you. It's really going to help you understand that you know this isn't just um, one size fits all presentation. When you're doing business in your realm, you understand that you should have at least four different presentations, one for each of those types of people. If you know you've got a type A, focus your presentation on selling the dream, selling the aspect of you know, positioning them as an expert in their industry and the top of their business and you know, they're going to be the, you know, the best of the best in their industry. You know, you're working with a, a nurturing type, someone who wants to build relationships. Okay, you want to focus on, hey, we're going to have you, you know, in our team. You're going to be part of our family. You're going to be growing with us. You know, we want to help you grow your business. You know, work with them on numbers. You know, let them know that you're flexible with pricing, that you're really there to help them grow. Uh, that's really going to help you in the sales aspect there. Um, analytical type, you know, you got somebody that wants numbers. You basically you want to put together a presentation that just sells stats, stats, stats. Let me show you some numbers on why this industry is great for your business. Let me show you, you know, why uh, you're going to have great ROI. Let me show you some numbers from some of our previous clients that have already had success and the exact type of numbers that you should expect. You know, this type of thing is where you should kind of lean towards with analytical. Share stories about numbers of people getting results. You know, that's the thing that you want to do with that. Um, and then the last one, the blueprint, you know, the, the professional, the organized person, you know, let them know that there's a step-by-step -step guideline to the approach, that you have everything in place. There's systems, there's processes. It makes it easy. There's, you know, step one, step two, step three, step four to get you going. You know, you have to understand that each person is sold a certain way. They have needs. When you understand the needs of your customers, it's going to be so much easier for you to understand how to service that client. Okay, so we're going to keep this one pretty short. We're only about 12 minutes in right now. Um, I think we've gotten some really great value on how to do that. Um, if you want to check out this really cool game that I put uh, that I'm utilizing, uh, it's free. It doesn't cost anything to utilize and it allows you to be able to see what your personality is and, uh, and be able to figure out you know, how you can position yourself as a great leader, either in your industry, in your profession, in your family life. Maybe you just want to grow yourself this year. You want to grow yourself to a better opportunity. You want to grow your income. Everybody wants to grow their income. You know, everyone wants to have a better opportunity to help others, help position themselves, uh, help them, you know, get in a position of where they can see themselves running their own team, uh, duplicating efforts with everybody else. I mean, you got to understand that people want to follow your story. That people want to see that you're genuine. Okay, when you can understand how to service people by becoming who they are, it's going to make it a lot easier for you to be able to get them to open up. And when they can open up, it allows you to open up. You guys become more friendly. You build bonds, and that's how you get long life relationships with customers and prospects okay so that is what i'm gonna leave you guys today it's a brand new pls tips this year i uh, hope you guys um you know follow this training share it with others share it with your team i want to give you guys the tools to being successful as much as i can absolutely free okay I, again i'm not charging you guys to uh to access this training you're getting this just because you're a powered lead system affiliate and the more people i help it just seems that more people find me as well so um, go out there and, uh, and do what you guys do. Um, become leaders. You know, get out there and, and share knowledge. If knowledge is power. If you can go out there and you can give somebody a step to success, get them one more step closer to their goal, they're going to remember that. Okay? I've got a lot of people that follow me for months, you know, years, that you know, will finally get in touch with me and say, hey, I've been following you for this long and this long and doing this, and you know, I'm finally ready to move forward with my business, or I'm finally ready to take the next step, or I want to you know, see how you can help me in what you're doing. I see the value that you bring to the industry. So find something for your business, your industry that you can take advantage of, and you can educate people on, and you'll see just how big you can grow. So stay blessed, guys. Um, always remember, you are too blessed to be stressed. I will see you next week. And if you like this video, share it with your team. We'll talk to you soon, and you guys make it a great day. Hi. I believe we are created for greatness, not mediocrity. That we are to live our lives accordingly, striving to be agents of change as we attempt to leave this world a better place than we found.